some problems for the uh, FISMED or mathematical methods in physics. And in this example, we have to show that sine cube theta is equal to 3 over 4 sine theta minus 1 over 4 sine 3 theta. Now, let's remember what sine theta was. Sine theta was e to the i theta minus e to the minus i theta divided by 2i. So where did it come from? Okay, let's do this. e to the i theta, remember that was cosine theta plus i sine theta. But e to the minus i theta is equal to cosine theta again, but with minus sign. This, this minus sign goes here, and then i sine theta. Now, since I'm solving sine theta, I have to get rid of these cosines so that I subtract the second equation. Okay, I subtract the second equation from the first one. So this subtraction of e to the i theta and e to the minus i theta on the left-hand side is equal to this cancels that, and then plus 2i sine theta. Now, if I divide both sides by 2i, okay, I will get e to the i theta, okay, minus e to the minus i theta divided by 2i. Don't forget. So this is the equation that we are using. Okay, here we go. So now, when we have this, sine cube theta is nothing but the cube of this. Cube of this. Okay, so we have to take the cube of this thing. So now, what is the cube of denominator? It's just 8i cubed. Okay, on the denominator, we can readily write 8i cubed. And i cubed is just i squared times i, but since i squared is minus 1, it's just equal to minus i. So it's minus i on the denominator, but it goes to the top as i. So we will do this later. And then now, uh, let's take the cube of this function, just the top though, not the denominator, the top. So the cube. So remember that uh, when you are taking the cube, it's just the coefficients of, uh, coefficients should be given at 1, 3, 3, 1. Okay. Okay, so it's, it's coming from pa Pascal's triangle. You will remember this from high school probably. Okay, so the uh, cube, the cube uh, of the first term. So e to the i theta cube. We have to take the cube of the first term, which is this. Minus 3. Why minus? Because one of the terms is negative. So the square of this first term, square, but the second term now to the power of 1. Ex the product of exponents should be just uh, 3. Okay? So 3, 2, 1, 3, minus again, okay, minus or plus. Now let's see what happens. We always put, uh, we always put plus, but this uh, e to the minus theta, uh, this minus theta is negative. So let's write this here negative, minus, so, okay. Now, uh, again, plus 3, 3, okay, because this 3, the second 3 now, e to the i theta, now the power of, 3, 2, now 1, and now minus e to the minus i theta, the power of, remember it goes like that, zero power, the first power, the second power, and now plus last term, the third power of uh, e to the minus i theta. So minus e to the minus i theta, the third power. So you have to get also this minus sign, never forget that. Okay, so... We know that the even power of minus gives you plus, but the odd powers gives you minus. So that's good. So now what we do is that we just write this as equal to 1 over minus i. Remember that this was, this was minus i with 8, of course, minus 8i. Now the cube of this is just e to the 3i, e to the 3i theta, okay? e to the 3i theta, because taking the cube of the exponent is just multiplying the, uh, this argument by 3, very simply. Okay, this is now uh, plus 3e to the, now 2i theta, 2i theta times this. First, let's decide if it's going to be minus or uh, plus. This minus sign will be kept because it's the odd power, so it will be minus. So this term is going to be minus, second term, 2i theta there. And then the first power of this is just itself e to the minus i theta. So e to the minus i theta. So it just gives you, okay, 2i theta minus i theta gives you just i theta, but we'll do it in the next step. So here, 
uh, this minus sign will be going away because the square gives you plus. And now this is plus 3e to the i theta, okay, plus and, uh, 2i theta because this product gives you minus 2i theta, right? This 2 goes there, it's minus 2i two, two theta, it's minus, okay. So this is just multiplying the whole expression and the, the minus sign is kept. Now, this will be, the last term will be minus because it's the odd power e to the minus 3i theta. That's it, okay? So now, what do we get? What do we get? So it's now put this i to the top and then uh, it becomes uh, plus because if it goes to the top, okay, it becomes plus i over 8 times e to the 3i theta and look at that, minus e to the minus 3i theta. Okay, so we can probably combine these two. And then this one, as you see, this is just i theta, but this is what? Minus i theta. So 3 is common, and then plus, uh, let's factor out minus sign, because minus sign, minus 3, and then e to the i theta there, and then minus e to the minus i theta. That's it. So this, that will be, uh, we are almost there, and now we know that this, the difference, the difference is just related to sine theta. If this was plus, then we would use cosine, but now it's all sine. So that now this is 2i times sine 3 theta, because the argument is 3 theta, okay? But this one, this parenthesis is just 2i sine, okay, 2i sine, just theta. That's it, because just one theta, okay? So now, if you multiply everything by i, which is outside, now it everything will be everything will be uh, real. I times I gives you minus. Okay, so there will be a minus sign there. So that now one over eight times this uh, minus two sine three theta. Now two i sine sine theta times i is i square, which will be plus two. Okay times 3, which is 6, don't forget, because there is 3 here, 6 times sine theta, that's it, 6 sine theta. And now, divided by uh, 8 gives you just, what, minus 1 over 4 sine 3 theta plus 3 over 4, okay, just sine theta. Okay, this is exactly the same expression. So it is checking. Good. The end of now recording, and then we will.